so the Arsenal squad are now in Singapore and the charm offensive of Asia is now well and truly underway. Over the next few days, we'll see plenty of happy and smiling faces and it will all be designed to exude a level of harmony that was not there before. Of course we all know that this happens every season and that the club organize these types of public displays overseas every year, but this summer everyone is looking a little more closely and I don't know about you, but it feels like the club are being even more overt in what they release. The Arsenal Twitter feed has been in overdrive, for example, with pictures and videos and all sorts. but none more so than Mesut Ozil, who the club social team have been at great pains to show smiling, happy and back to work. This is a very stark contrast to a couple of days ago and the statement that was made by Mesut on his various social profiles. It's clear from the response of Arsenal that they want to emphasize his happiness but not only that, what I've been reading into what they've been releasing, including a tweet which specifically talks about diversity, shows a clear support behind a human being who feels like he has become subjected to a level of xenophobia that should not be subjected to anybody. You have to applaud the club's stance. People have talked about what mental state of Zill will be in for the beginning of the season due to the World Cup but also now this storm which has brewed around our number 10, so the fact that the club are taking measures to show how much he's loved at Arsenal will do his confidence no harm at all I'd wager. He is a player who, when feeling loved and fully fit, is a game changer. Nobody can convince me otherwise. It's because of that I am pleased to see the club not just rally around him, but take extra care to demonstrate his happiness, which we're all hoping will rub off on the pitch with his performances. Let's hope so anyway. It's a big season for him. He's got that big contract. He's committed to the club. We all love him. But now he needs to put Germany to one side and show them what they are missing. And they will miss him. Despite the German Faw's pathetic we're surprised statement they made, They will no longer have a whipping boy who played so important a part in 2014 but now whom they shun. They have to perhaps have a look at themselves and question why their team, a squad of 23 and not just one guy believe it or not, underperformed on the world stage. Azil will move on and I hope he has an absolute blinder of a season under Emery. I for one can't wait. And neither can all of us. The love I've seen Masukit has been great from the fan base, and given how divided we had all been over the last few years, this new era, whilst still in its infancy and still in a position where it could still turn sour if results nose dive, is feeling like a bit of a reboot for everyone. People are excited. People want to read more, speak more, smile more, all when talking about the arsenal. It's really good and feels like we are in a good place. I just hope that continues into the new season and starts with some good results. Right, that's it for me for another one, on account of the heat, a general feeling of tiredness, as well as the fact there's bugger else going on. Have a good one.